Good afternoon. Welcome to my show. Today I'm going to be reviewing a uh, Greg Bennett Design Torino. These are very, very, very incredible guitars. They do certain things extremely well. This has got Seymour Duncan pickups. It is like really well built and designed. I can't say anything other than wow. The one thing I have to say about this is it very much likes to play some types of music and very much does not like playing others. I've never been one of those people who believed, oh, well, this guitar is to play this kind of music until I played one of these. I never believed that. This makes you get that very spacey feel to it when you play it. And I love it. I would don't know that I'd want to play it for a country music very much, but for the type of music that I play on it, it's fantastic. Let's take a listen to it. Like I said, you get that very spacey feel to it. And I like that. I like that. Like I said, I don't think I'd want to try too hard to play country to it because it just sounds odd. But for the type of music that I wanted to play for it, it's a perfect fit. So let's get into the fit and the finish. As you can see, it's got a beautiful quilted top on it. It's Seymour Duncan pickups, everything on the fit and the finish is beautiful. You run your fingers up the side of the fretboard, you feel nothing. It's a really well designed guitar. Um, the only problem that I have is, and this is with all SG guitars, they're all neck heavy, right? They all want to go down. So when you stand up and you play it with a strap, you know, because then you're constantly having to pry the neck back up. But it's still a beautiful sounding playing guitar. I personally love this guitar and I'm going to tell you a really cool story. I never paid full price for this guitar. I bought almost all of my guitars from the same person, right? He worked at a guitar shop and I bought almost all of my guitars from him. And the day that I bought this guitar, the guitar rep was in there and they were having an argument. And being the manager of the store, the guy I bought my guitars off said, I don't want your products in the store anymore. I'll sell these three and then you're gone. And the guy goes, well, they're not going to sell that quick. I'll come back in two days and we'll talk. He goes, they're going to be sold a lot quicker than you think. This had a price tag on it of $800. He saw that I was in the store and he yelled at me across the store. He goes, Egan, you want to buy a guitar worth $800 for $300? I said, sold. I, he handed me the guitar and he looked at the at the sales rep and he goes, I've only got two left now. I'm going to make a couple phone calls and they'll be gone. Don't come back. And literally, I got an $800 guitar for $300. So yes, I'm, I left this guitar. Um, fit and finish wise, though, this beautiful guitar. Um, I have to say, it is the very first of the higher end guitars that you you should really want to tackle. You should really want to get comfortable with something like this. It is a beautiful guitar. It sounds nice. Like I said, there's some styles of music I wouldn't necessarily be wanting to play on it, to be honest. But that's why it's not a $4,000 guitar. It's an $800 guitar. But yeah, that would be my, my review on the fit and the finish of the guitar. So my final analogy on this, I'd give it a 7.5 out of 10. 
Um, I would give it more, but they're just like I said, there's just certain types of music sound bad on this guitar. But when you're playing in its wheelhouse, this is a very, very tough guitar to beat. You'd have to prove to me that you had a better sounding guitar. Um, personally, for my taste, it was it's all I'm looking for in that type of, of playing. And that being said, seven and a half out of ten seems very fair for this guitar. And I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope you enjoy my show. Please like and subscribe. And please keep your comments friendly. This is a community of love of guitars, not of anything else. Thank you and have a great day.